Looking at the very basics of using your Dometic Series 10 fridge. At the moment, the fridge is switched off. To turn it on, hold your finger on the power button. You can see all the icons light up. And then we can see here that we've already got it set to automatic mode, which is the power supply. And we can see we've got it on the maximum setting. So automatic, and if you're hiring from us, we recommend that you keep it in this. Automatic will always try and find the best source of power available and you don't really need to change it if you have it on this mode. So at the moment, we're hooked up to mains and if you've got it on auto, it will always choose mains over everything else. So if you were to unhook the motorhome and you're driving onto your next location, it may bleep a few times and that's just saying that it hasn't got any power supply but once you start the engine, it will switch to the 12 volt battery supply. Now this is the vehicle battery and not the leisure battery. And also in this mode, it will only maintain the temperature of what the fridge was at when you set off. So if, you, if it's really warm inside the fridge and you set off thinking, oh, it'll cool down by the time we get there, it won't. It will only maintain the temperature as to what it was at when you left your first location. So automatic mode, gas mode. If you're in automatic mode and you've not got mains hookup, it will then try gas. Uh, and if you have got your gas bottle set to open, especially if you're camping wild, the, uh, it will ignite down the very back and the bottom of the fridge and the fridge will work that way using gas. Again, if you have it in auto, as soon as you arrive and you open your gas bottle, it will find that mode for you. Now, sometimes if you are using gas, you're camping wild, you turn the gas off and this isn't in automatic, it's just set to gas on its own. It may bleep with a fault and it will bleep every 30 minutes to let you know that there is a fault with the fridge, i.e. it's got no power source. Um, and you try and change it to auto or to the 12 volt supply or you've got mains hookup. It may still flash with a fault. This will write up uh, red and then to reset the fault, if you set it to the power supply that works, hold the power button for two seconds, it will bleep. As soon as it bleeps, take your finger off and it will reset the fridge for you. If you don't take your finger off quick enough, it may turn the fridge off. It's no problem, just turn it back on again just by pressing the button. You can see here it's set to the maximum setting. To change that, press the thermometer and you can choose the setting of your choice and to change the mode, press mode, that's your gas, that's your mains and that's your auto. What you may find if you have it in auto and you unhook from mains, you may start hearing like a clicking noise from the fridge. That's just trying to ignite the gas. But as soon as you start the engine, that will stop and it will automatically switch to the 12 volt supply. The main thing to remember with this though, if the error light does flash and it bleeps, Make sure you've got the right temperature, right power setting on, uh, or you could just leave it in auto and it will find that and then just reset the, fr the fridge by pressing the button for two seconds. As soon as it bleeps, take your finger off and that will reset it for you. When coming to use the fridge, nice and easy, there's two gray catches, this one at the top and then the one at the bottom. The one at the bottom is your lock or unlock catch. At the moment it's set to unlock. To open the fridge door, slide this over and pull. If you come to uh, pull the door and it won't open, don't force it. Remember to push this over and if this doesn't open it, it will be because the bottom latch is set to lock. And when in transit, if you do lock the bottom catch, it just stops anything pushing against the door and flying open when you're going round the roundabout, it could give you a little bit of a fright. If you own the motorhome and you are preparing it for winter, like we do with our hire fleet, inside the door, there are these black catches. There's one at the top, one at the bottom. Now to prepare it for winter, defrost the freezer compartment and the fridge. And then when it's ready, have this catch open, try and close the door and that will catch and it'll leave a gap here so that the fridge can breathe and you don't get any mold when you come to uh, take things out of storage. When you're ready to uh, get things going again, just remember to put, push those catches back. You'll need to give the fridge a wipe, you can close it, then you're back to your normal operation. Some tips for getting the best out of your fridge. Don't store anything in the fridge for the first 12 hours of operation, so if you have time, 
to plug it in, the motorhome, and get your fridge on overnight before you set off. That's the ideal way to do things. If you're hiring from us, the fridge will already have been on for a night, and it will be nice and cool, ready for, to, for you to use straight away. Other tips, don't let the temperature inside the vehicle get too hot. If you're uncomfortable in the vehicle, the fridge will be uncomfortable as well and will be working harder using more energy and also protect the fridge from direct sunlight. So in this motorhome, it's okay. We've got a blind directly across that we can close just to keep that direct sunlight away and to give the fridge a bit of a hand. For more troubleshooting and for important safety information and the full guide on how to use this fridge, please check the user manual.